Hey, welcome back to What to Know Before the Show, and in this video, it's one of my favorite topics. It's about using music in your workshops. Uh, but it's specifically in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, piracy and copyright law. You want to really protect yourself against uh, copyright infringement by playing music that is copywritten in your workshop and not protecting yourself ahead of time. So I've got a few pointers and a few suggestions that I've got to, uh, to protect yourself from copyright and piracy, and they go something like this. So the first way to protect yourself against copyright and piracy is not to use music at all. Now I don't recommend this. Actually, workshops I feel like work better. They look more professional. They, they have more energy to them if you do use music in your workshop and you can use this through different parts of your workshop. Uh, you know, entries and exits from the room, uh, putting your, your participants in different activities. There's a ton of music out there to use. And also, you can go to the, go to the uh, video on creating your own music playlist for your workshop. A really great way to get started, to pick out the right kind of music, specifically for your audience and for the content of your workshop. So the first suggestion is not to mu use music. I don't suggest doing this. Bring in some music. It's really going to pump your workshop up, no matter what the topic is. Secondly, I want to talk to you about the governing bodies here in North America that protect copyright, protect the artists who create this music. Now, the three are ASCAP, BMI, and SOCAN here in Canada. Um, they're the governing bodies that are going to protect the copyright of, um, of the, the songwriters and make sure that they get paid. So, you don't want to break any of their rules. So, you can go to their website and find out about what tariffs are, are charged for using music. Um, oftentimes, it's between $20 and a hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars per day but check out what's best for you in these tariffs and what you have to pay per day to use music in your workshop now also remember they're pretty stringent and actually if you have dancing at your workshop you know you put people into a process where they're dancing or you have them dancing on stage uh, when they come back from a meal break Oftentimes, you're actually charged more for having dancing at your workshop. It sounds bizarre, but it's one of the things they've got in place. So check out to see if, uh, if this is the right way for you to go. It's going to charge you some money to uh, play music at your workshop, but it's also going to protect you against copyright infringement. The next way is to hire a professional DJ. Now, professional DJs are available all over the place. They do weddings, they do conferences, but pick out your DJ really, really well. You want to find a DJ that has some experience within the seminar and the workshop world because then they kind of get used to uh, the, the intricacies of putting on a workshop, when music should be played, how it should be played. Um, a lot of DJs are used to just kind of playing their own playlist, playing the music they like, and so your best bet is to really have a clearly drawn out logistics master. Walk this DJ through the logistics master, make sure they're, they're comfortable with the music, they have that music available, but they're also comfortable with the intricacies of putting on your workshop and when you want this music played. So hiring a DJ is another option. Another one is for you to become the DJ. Uh, you can go online to DJ service and get your own DJ license, which will uh, really protect you against any copyright infringement. It works out to be about $340 a year Canadian, but just go online, type into Google, get a DJ license, and you can pay a yearly uh, licensing fee to get your own DJ license, which will allow you to play music anywhere. But also remember that this DJ license starts at the beginning of the year and ends at the end of that year. So your DJ license is only good until December 31st, and then you have to renew it again for the next year. So if you're going to get the DJ license, get it as early on in the year as possible and you'll be able to take advantage of that full year of coverage. So that's another option is get your own DJ license and play your own music at your workshop. Now this can also become difficult if you are a one person show and you're on stage and you have to be fiddling through your iPod or your laptop to put on that song that's going to take people to break. If you can, uh, bring in a DJ that's going to do the work for you so that you can just focus on being on stage and delivering your material to your audience. The last way, and this is the best way I suggest to you, is actually to check with your venue. Now, a lot of venues, community centers, hotels, conference centers, uh, schools, pay an annual licensing fee for music. So before you book your event room, check with your hotel to make sure they've got their uh, licensing fee, their annual licensing fee paid up, or they actually have a licensing fee that they've paid. And this is going to cover you to play any music you want to in your event room for free, so you don't have to worry about paying anything. So my recommendation is to check with your venue, make sure that they're going to make it okay for you to pay, play copywritten music at your workshop 
uh, and you don't have to worry about any pirating or copyright infringement. So having music at your workshop, really, really important. Make sure that you're covered from copyright infringement or anything to do with piracy. But having music at your workshop, really great way to build energy, to take people to different states of being, um, to impress them when you walk up on stage and there's some music booming. But also go to the, the, uh, the What You Know Before the Show uh, video on how to create your own playlist. Put this music in your Logistics Master so that you can uh, use it over and over again the more events you put on. Also, if you find a new song, you can add that to the playlist and change that in your Logistics Master. So having music at your workshops is really, really important, but protect yourself, and that's what to know before the show.